the solar spectrum, sunlight from the sun as seen on earth. In 1802, English chemist William Hyde Wollaston noticed dark features in the solar spectrum. Joseph von Fraunhofer independently dis rediscovered, rediscovered these lines and meticulously studied and measured their wavelengths. He mapped over 570 lines designating the most prominent ones with letters from A, B, C, D up to K and weaker lines with other letters. If you observe, sunlight transmitted from the photosphere, atomic elements in the transmission path, an electron dense layer, the visible reaction zone named the photosphere, the solar interior, a dense plasma sphere, the solar chromosphere of the dense magnetic action, the solar plasma corona. These lines result from selective absorption of light by chemical elements in the solar atmosphere. When light passes from source sun to the detector, certain valence are absorbed, creating these dark features. The gas in the sun's atmosphere and outer photosphere contributes to the formation of Fraunhofer lines. Friends, prominent Fraunhofer lines are seem to be major Fraunhofer lines, prominent and their associated elements, sodium D1, sodium D2, another sodium absorption line 588.995 nanometer, H-alpha hydrogen absorption line at 656.28 nanometer, G absorption line associated with the calcium, next sodium absorption in star's spectrum is enhanced by sodium in planet's atmosphere. Well friends, significant Fraunhofer lines provide crucial information about the composition of the sun's atmosphere. They are also serve as a bridge between the astronomy and chemistry. It is the link golden link that is a bridge between the astronomy and the chemistry as they reveal the presence of specific elements. These spectral fingerprints continue to captivate scientists and star gazers alike, unre unrevealing the secrets of our celestial neighbor. What electromagnetic radiation warms the atmosphere? Why is the wavelength of the infrared radiation emitted by the Earth absorbed by the atmosphere to cause the greenhouse effect? But infrared radiation from the sun is not absorbed by the atmosphere if it emits infrared at all known wavelengths. So electromagnetic spectrum consists of gamma rays, X-rays, ultraviolet radiations, infrared radiations, microwaves and radio waves. Fraunhofer lines are highly fascinating phases as we discussed in the solar spectrum. Let us delve into the intriguing story he explained earlier. These are the single slit diffraction, Fraunhofer, Fraunhofer diffraction, Fraunhofer diffraction. He explains the wavelength absorption lines, hydrogen, sodium, and calcium. Thank you, friends, for listening.